My name is Ismael Hernandez and I am the Executive Director and Founder of the Freedom and Virtue Institute. First of all, I want to thank Jerry Cohen and Equity Build for allowing me to be here with you today. Uh, let me tell you something about myself. I grew up in Puerto Rico in a communist household. My father was founding member of the Communist Party of Puerto Rico. He left an extensive FBI file. I have the file here with me. I joined the party with him and I was intent in destroying this, con this country. I blame America for all the poverty and the problems I saw in Puerto Rico. Long story short, one day I made my way to the United States of America, to Southern Mississippi of all places. But right there, I began to question the assumptions of my ideology. For the first time, I questioned those assumptions. Eventually, I realized that socialism was a mistake, a great mistake, and that I had to embrace liberty. From then on, I began to change my mind and eventually founded the Freedom and Virtue Institute. And one of the reasons I founded the Institute is that as I came to America, a great personal price, I see many Americans embracing the ideas that I rejected, and that cannot continue. The Freedom and Virtue Institute is present in many minority communities, in poor communities, and we are expanding across the country. And we go to these communities with the idea of liberty, the idea that can really help people meet their needs. And when people embrace freedom and they taste freedom, they don't want to go into dependency and into the ideas of socialism. And we are asking you for your help to continue to expand this network of what we call community organizers for freedom across the country. You know, for the next five weeks, you will receive an email from us and you will hear more about what we do in these communities. You will also listen from national figures who support what we are trying to accomplish. And I ask you to think about it at the end of this year and decide whether or not you would like to support our efforts. Thank you.